Mark, good morning. Good morning. Um, just a bit of team news, first of all, if we could. Um, How is everybody after the Southampton game? I'm particularly thinking of, of Milan when I'm, I'm asking you that. Um, everybody came through OK. So we are, yeah, we're as you were. So um, obviously we're early doors in the morning. Players are just arriving, so... Um, we will have another review of things in uh, in a little while, but I don't anticipate any changes really. Because mm. Milan was feeling um, his stomach muscles, he, he got a little bit of a cramp, I think, wasn't he, the other night? I think he ran into the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper just That's winded it, yeah. him. So that was all it was. Nothing. Mm. Hi, Fabio, I'm Rob, nice to see you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Okay. Um, and let's talk about the other night, if we can, um, first of all, because you must have uh, enjoyed your, your role in that game at Southampton. I know that the results ultimately didn't go the boys' way, but, but you played a, a significant part. Just just tell us your feelings about how you felt about that match. Yeah, I came, um, I came on quite early in the second half. Um, you know, Milan had a little, little problem in the game. Um, and yeah, I came on and, you know, just tried to impact it as much as I could. Obviously, we was down to at the time. So, you know, coming on the gaff, like, hey, just be positive and, you know, uh, try, try, create opportunities and create a problem for them. And uh, thankfully, I had a little assist, a little part to play in the goal. Um, but yeah, I just tried to be positive and, you know, try to um, bring something different and a different energy to the game. Mm. One of the big positives from the other night was... Fabio Tavares' introduction off the bench, and obviously he played a, a crucial role in, in Jake Bidwell's goal. That was arguably his, his best, you know, performance in a, in a Sky Blue shirt. Mark, wasn't it? Do you agree? Yeah, I do. I do. I think he was. I mean, he's had some good cameos. Um, he's had some good involvements in games. Uh, he scored a few goals. His, his confidence is there, um, and obviously having been out for. 12 months it, it was uh, it was going to always take a little bit of time for him to to get back to the level that he was that he was at and he was scoring goals regularly in the uh, in the under 21s prior to his injury so um it was good it was a really good cameo for him and and um the the ball into the box he, he caused them he caused them problems and uh, you know Kyle Walker Peters is, is a top player he's a top player moving forwards defensively he um uh, he was tested by Fabio early on when he came on, and, and that sort of gave Fabio the edge to um, to do what he did, to go on and do what he did. And the ball in for the for the for the goal was really good, executed well by Jake. Arrived in the middle of the box in in the middle of the goal, um, but there was another one for for Hadji where Hadji felt he was being pulled, um, and ended up going down in the penalty area. But that was a good ball as well. That uh, that really could have been dispatched. You know, so there were there were two or three involvements that he had that were uh, that were significant in the game at that stage. And personally, for you, you seem to be growing into this season. I know there's only a few games left now, but you know you've scored a few goals, Mainston and, and Rotherham, as to say, a fantastic assist for for Jake Bidwell's goal the other night. So you feel personally you're making some big strides now. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, like I said, like I had a big injury and missed a year out, so it was always going to take a bit of time to, you know, get back um, to the levels I once I once was at. Um, and you know, thankfully now towards the end of the season, it's it's coming along um, slowly. A few goals and assists, and uh, I want to continue doing that until the end of the season, and hopefully play my part in helping this club obviously get into the playoffs. And of course, they need the points for for very different reasons to you, don't they? Yeah, we're all in the in the game for picking up points, and they had a a, a difficult evening the other the other evening against uh, on Wednesday against Cardiff. So the goal that they conceded was, from Cardiff's perspective, a, a good one. There's a you know a turnover in possession, a quick interchange in passing, and uh, uh, and they end up getting the goal that that uh, that wins the game. But but Birmingham are. Uh, only losing games by the odd goal. It's just, you know, you've, they've got some really good players. You know, they've had changes in managers this season. You know, with Tony going in there and they started to look like they were turning a corner and picking points up again. And then, you know, obviously wish Tony Mowbray all the best in his recovery and hope he gets back quickly. Um, 
then Gary's gone in obviously and then picked up that taken over that mantle and then uh, you know he's been there before and knows the club and they are not far away from from getting decent results they had a really good performance I think against Leicester City and just came up short in that one um, so it's there are there's no easy games you know we say it every every week there are no easy games and and this one will be the same and you you're right teams are going for uh, going for it for different reasons and um, you know I don't see it being any different uh, in tomorrow's game um, but we obviously need the points we'll be going all out to try and get them as well and you know I think we expect them to do the same.